We have a fairly diverse uh, student body. 67% uh, of our students are on free and reduced lunch. Last year uh, we had some difficulty with some behavioral issues, uh, social interaction uh, among peers and um, classmates was difficult. And then with staff we had some difficulty with trust issues. Many of our kids come here because for them the mainstream public school doesn't exactly work. With that type of kid um, and their intelligence, <clears throat> they know how to push buttons. We have kids that come from really high socioeconomic families, but also kids that come from really lower socioeconomic families. That's probably the most interesting challenge, I think. When I learned about Random Acts of Kindness, it seemed like it just was kind of a natural fit, another piece of the puzzle that was kind of missing for us. These celebration boards are a way that you can share how kind you are to each other and to your classmates. The overall purpose of the workshop is to help them create a kind action plan for solving challenges that face their community. They understand that this really is all about them and all up to them. And they become empowered. They become empowered to create the kind community that they want. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is, well, whenever someone in our class does a random act of kindness, they write it down and they add it to this big, long chain. We love it. We it's really fun. It's really good and it helps us like develop the ways to be kind. This is all the things that um, our kids in our class have done. Brought in aluminum cans to recycle, cleaned up someone's yard, collected money for patients. Older kids are starting to be nicer to us fifth graders, telling us how it's going to be like in middle school. All these boys always get into fights, but when we got this new random act of kindness thing, they're just like playing a nice game together. He talks about the kindness and what they've talked about in class. I can think of one example of a little boy whose hands were full of his backpack and his violin and he held the door open for my daughter. They have to be able to work with all different kinds of people so that's what I'm trying to teach my kids and if that's being reinforced at school then that just makes that easier. I've, I've just seen a more willingness to just do that little thing. Every day there's incidences when we can use the language from um, the Random Acts of Kindness to help solve some conflicts that are going on. It's not uncommon for a kid to come in and check with me and say, or, or say something like, hey, I, I did a random act of kindness yesterday when I was at the grocery store. The lesson plans spark us to continue the conversation about kindness. I believe that the Random Acts of Kindness workshop and the idea of having um, teaching kindness on a regular basis has really helped my staff become more open uh, to one another. I've seen the culture in the building shift from um, a place of um, less trust and um, less secure to uh, much more supportive, um, happy, um, respectful, I think it should be embedded in every school um, as part of the overall curriculum. Um, it can only add to the ability of students to learn. This is our local weekly newspaper and we're very excited that we are being featured in an article about kindness. It's called Cool to be Kind and it talks about all the work that we have been doing with Random Acts of Kindness that it's really paying off. The students are getting the message. From the principal standpoint, a huge plus for me is that I don't think that I get nearly the behavior referrals that I have in the past. I mean, I've had several groups of kids who have actually come to me and said, here's an issue that we see, and you know, here's our suggestion for how maybe we can make it better. I actually, at lunch today, was hit up by multiple fifth graders who will be starting kindness clubs, anti-bully clubs, all kinds of clubs, they want to come present to assemblies, they want to, as fifth graders, visit 
fourth, third, second, first grade rooms and talk about what they expect out of those kids. Kids opening doors for kids, kids opening doors for adults, kids walking with other kids who sometimes might fly solo from recess back to the building. We don't have a meter for it and I don't, can't write a research paper on it, but I could line you up tens of teachers and hundreds of kids and they would say the same thing. If I was someone else, I'd feel like I'm about to cry because of what people have done and how they are helping people and how they're helping the world. This opened my mind because if we could do this, anyone can do this. I think it's more than awesome. It's like the greatest thing this school could ever do. 74, 75, 76. This is a long chain and a lot of random acts of kindness. If those two went together, I don't know what would happen.